If you had some trouble with the lying leg raise, it's okay. There are many possible reasons why you may have trouble, which include lack of pelvic control, hip flexor or hamstring tightness, or even both. We're going to try some exercises together to see if we can correct it or even just make some progress. The first exercise is the lying leg raise with core activation. How it works is we're going to set up just like when we were doing the lying leg raise test with your feet together, toes pointed up toward the sky. And this time we're going to put our hands right next to our legs. And as you lift up your right leg, you're going to push down as hard as you can into the ground. You may notice that it helps you lift your leg up at least an extra three, four, five inches. If this is the case, it shows that you lack some core control and core stability. And this is a great exercise for you to do to help improve that core stability. Next up is the half kneeling stretch. We're just going to get into half kneeling stance. We're going to put your left leg forward, your right knees down. We're going to squeeze the glute, the right glute, and we're going to push forward slowly and gently and breathe deeply. We want to get relaxed so we can just hold the stretch and try to loosen up the hip flexors. Now I want you to do the lying leg raise test again after spending about 20 seconds on each leg, 20 or 30 seconds stretching uh, each leg. If you notice that the lying leg raise becomes easier, then of course you can just stretch your hip flexors. The last exercise we're going to do is a lying hamstring stretch where you can use a yoga strap or even some resistance tubing to help you pull your hamstring back as you're lying down. If you notice that this really helps you significantly, then of course you may have tight hamstrings. And if you have tight hamstrings, it's quite possible that you lack glute activation, which means we have to activate your glutes because your hamstrings are working overtime. If you still can't pass the lying leg raise test after trying these exercises, I do not want you to do any bending exercises, like, again, like deadlifts or kettlebell swings. If, however, you do pass the test after doing these exercises, then you are absolutely cleared to do the deadlift and kettlebell swing, but you need to do these exercises before, and you need to make sure that you pass the lying leg raise test. Again, this is a fundamentally important thing for you to be able to do to use proper exercise form and to be safe while you exercise.